Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I guess I do have to kind of focus, right? We have some pretty nice runs. Like this is one out of 46. This is the bubble of the 1K thrill. We have a pretty big stack. Running deep in this 250 main. Uh, ooh, 17,000 for first, wow. So I sold 10% of this at face for a bunch of you. Imagine if I win it and just like get to redistribute $1,700 with the stream. Man, that, that would be amazing. In the 1K thrill I've set against my buddy Alex and I raised flop, bet turn, shove river. It's pretty sick spot. Um, I actually don't, I'm a bit confused by what might, he might have. Is this set over set? Like, my most likely bluffing is probably gonna be like ace five suited and maybe ace eight suited. What a massive pot. Woo! Sorry, Alex. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alex. I didn't mean to do that to you, but wow, what a pot. Uh, I didn't show it because there was like some other things going on and I didn't really wanna. I was just thinking of sizings and stuff, but um, what a ridiculous spot. I'm glad you guys like the dual stream. Ooh, we got a big bounty. A big booty opportunity. All right, what, what graphic do we play? Hmm. You know what? I just want to suck out. I just want to suck out. Yes. Yes. We're going to play the little suck out emoji as you see a little vacuum. A little vacuum just sucking out. We're going to do, we want to do the same thing. Ooh, it's a coin flip. It's a coin flip, fellas. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Come on. Yes! Dead on the turn! No longer a coin flip might give me that $625 straight into my already pretty fat wallet because this day is ridiculous with bounties. We are just racking up the booties, racking them up. Oh boy, fellas, we have another final table. This is a 500. Oh my God, hold on, hold on. Let me come back to that. Let me come back to that because we have... Okay, hold on. Um... I'm just gonna shove, because I would never fold if this guy gets it in, but I don't want this guy to get an ace-queen, to be honest. Like, there's... If I flat, is he getting in tens? I think he's still getting in tens against my shove, that's the thing. Oh boy! Come on, come on. I'm winning all the all-ins in this tournament, come on, come on, come on. Do some clubs. Let's go! Double bounty. Whoo! Holy shit. I am running so hot today. This is insane. I have 400,000 chips. The fuck? It's actually insane. That is actually insane. All right. We got a final table. We got a final table. What is, what's the payouts? Let's see the payouts. The payouts of this. Wait, what? Oh. Man, this is big. I didn't even realize. 11,000? God dang! Oh my god, I have such a disgusting spot, guys. I do think he's gonna 3-bet King Jack off and stuff, like this is- because this guy was dealt all in in a small blind. So like, my range is wider, his range is wider, and like, if I think he's 3-bet and like, King Jack off, King 9 suited, Queen Jack off and stuff like that, I have to just take a stand. Like, I'm not really happy about it. I can't flat because it doesn't play that well post flop. Uh, it's such an annoying spot. Like, these PKO spots can be so brutal. This is really close, but he's definitely opening really wide because of this short stack. He's also covering all these three guys, so he can definitely open a lot of suited connector type hands. Um, I want to shove like, yeah, I like this shove, but I have a really big bounty, but I was just wondering like, he can't really call too wide. Oh, just running into everything. For oh, fuck's sake, mate. Well, nope, we bust the 1k thrill, unfortunately. I mean, I, I still think that ace stand handle is just like such a sick cooler. Uh, in the 1k thrill, I'm calling King 10 here because I raised and like two people got it in. I covered bo both of them comfortably. It's a small amount of chips. I know I'm behind, but I'm gonna smash a jack on a river and we're gonna celebrate. 
Damn it. That would have been kind of sick. Oh, baby. Final table, probably gonna go all in here. Uh, definitely have to get it in now when this guy just puts in some dead money. Wow, a lot more dead money. I really definitely always want to get it in. There's too much dead money. I want this guy to isolate. No, don't just flat. Fuck. What are they doing? Yeah, nice, nice. Excellent board. <laughs> Like, I just want, like, one of them to isolate, so then I get to just, like, triple up possibly against Ace King or something. I will give out a thousand dollars if I win this pot. Yeah, zero check. <laughs> I was literally, that's how confident I am that I'm not gonna win. <laughs> Alright, so we got eighth after losing i mean yeah we got really unlucky on this final table the queens against a screen there's not much i can say about it it's just really tough hand definitely on a three bet ape uh i think it's very standard three bet spot definitely can get him to fold hands that beat us like queen jack queen ten and stuff He's going to be opening relatively wide here. It's a pretty good spot for him to open a bit on a wider side. When the chip leader is in a small blind. Um, he has some natural snap folds here. He will continue with some hands that dominate me. He might also just flat some traps like aces and kings at some frequency. I think ace is probably flatting a lot actually. But like he's opening king 10 off. He'll just fold. Mm -hmm. I like the bet 20% here. I'm just wondering if I have like 9, 8, 8, 7 of the hearts or spades. Am I bluffing here? I think I am. Be uh, yeah, because like then like he's gonna have ace 9, ace 8 suited. They're just like kind of auto fold, but not really. No? I like this river because now we literally only lose to jack 10 of hearts and queen jack of hearts. I kind of have a feeling he might have slow played aces and king spree, and I don't think he folds them on the river here. Because I don't have many X hearts, but I think like I'm just prefer shoving and like if the river is a diamond, it's actually worse. Diamond is really bad, a heart is okay. A heart is like I, I only lose to two combos. But he does a flat queen ton of heart spree. I only I don't really see the benefit of checking because he never bluffs. Uh, well, I'm not going to say never. It's just very unlikely that he bluffs, in my opinion, because of the way the board is. He's going to have like ace X of diamonds, uh, two pairs a lot, king queen suited, um, ace queen, ace 10 suited, pocket tens. Um, in general, like those are just always going to check back. I've been opening so wide. This guy's going to rip in really wide. No. All right. I flooded a stand against cutoff, and this is usually going to be a pretty good board for us, I think. Don't really need to go big here ever. Like, most likely bluffs would be maybe like some jack ten of clubs, ten nine of clubs. Some backdoor hands, some hand like I have some like pocket pairs also just betting for a bit of protection. This is basically on the FT bubble, by the way. So, yeah, big blind just calling here is very bizarre. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I'm not folding, but it's just like a really nasty. I don't think he's gonna lead three way here without. Um, a really strong hand. He's not defending like 5-3 offsuit preflop, I don't think. He's not gonna have like that as a bluff. I guess I lose to a 6 of spades? Only? 
If he has a6 of spades, it is um, very painful. So sick. So sick. Um, unreal. Unreal. No comment. Slow roll him. <laughs> Alright, we're I think we're gonna bust uh, Ape possibly. Good luck, Ape. I don't wanna bust him, but I'm not folding this hand ever. Sorry, Ape. I'm sorry. This is what we just did to you. I'm sorry. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get out of here. Watch out, watch out. If you don't look anything like it, maybe if we add a beard on Patrick, it might look a bit likely. Final table. All right, what's... Ooh, we got a, the seat on the big stack. Pretty, pretty good draw. Pretty good draw. Alright, I mean, he can limp shove if he wants to, and he can have it. Hmm. Mm. I don't really like my size, actually. I don't, don't, don't like my size. I think that was a mistake. Why did I rush that decision? Should have probably gone a bit more half pot. Um. I'm gonna take equity because I can get shoved on a lot on the turn. Um, he, like he does have like, yeah, he does have a lot of ten nines, uh, five four suited, seven six suited, eight six suited, king x. He's gonna have king eight, king eight, king seven. Now we river the flush and we can shove, and it's good to have some check back flush in our range because this is like a spot where let's say if I have like ace ten with the ace of hearts, what do you think I'm gonna do? Bond. So. I'm just debating if I ever want to just call here, but I think when he never folds, uh, like, um, I think this is a spot where every time I have like Ace of Hearts, I'm just always bluffing it. And he's gonna always call. Yes, exactly, that's exactly what I was gonna say. He's always gonna call that. He's always gonna call that. Um, doesn't even need a heart. I literally don't think he even needs the heart. Um, but also like, I think, Two pairs are probably not gonna fold if they think that I'm gonna start over bluffing the river with all my ace x of hearts. Like sometimes I'll even just have the queen of hearts. I could have ace queen, the queen of hearts. Uh, could have like queen queen five. I was bluffing print flop with the queen of hearts, and like all those are gonna be pretty decent bluffing combos on the river. So yeah, sometimes you want to check back, make your flush, and you know people will just don't really assume you'll ever actually have uh, those type of hands in your checking range on the turn because. In general, like population actually tends to play their draws very aggressively, um, but it's not always the best way to like. You can you can play them very aggressively, but like make sure you don't do it in a on a turn spot where like you can get check shoved on a lot because he actually has more straights and two pairs than you do. Hmm. Right, wait, let me just take a look at the bounties. Wow, I did not think I'd be ahead. I did not think I'd be ahead. No chop! Bingo, baby! Give me that booty! So, it's it's kind of a close spot. It sucks to double him up, because he get, kind of gets the 540k. Doesn't really matter that much, but if I knock him out and get $1,300, then I might also win once I win the heads up because it's even more money up top. So like that bounty becomes very valuable. I think I have to get, uh, definitely have to get that in. Um, sometimes you'll see me like think and like kind of go in this like moment and, and someone just asked, this is pretty important. So what's your study routine? That moment where you saw me like think about it for a bit is actually part of my study routine. So like that spot, I was actually thinking, what am I getting in? What am I folding here? I knew Queen Jack is most likely always a get in, but I was thinking like, am I getting in um, King nine offsuit? And I thought like, hmm, that's kind of close, but I don't think so. Um, King nine suited definitely like any ace, I think any pair, like there's a lot of hands I'm getting in there and I just, I use that little moment there to like think of what, what, ooh, wow. 
what I'm actually gonna get in and what I'm not going to. All right, this guy busts. We are three-handed. Wow. Okay. All right, fellas, this is it. This is it. No eight, baby. No eight. No seven. No seven. Come on, rooster booster, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Collecting all the bounties in this tournament! Woo! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. All right. Massive heads up. This guy just starts ripping it. Okay, well. It's gonna be interesting heads up because this guy might not know how to play heads up. So, we might have to do weird... Weird, weird strategies. Like min race call. Come on. Come on. Come on. End him! End him! Out of here! No, 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 Ricky. No, 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 no. We win. Oh my god. Bro. Bro. That's not cool, Ricky. Wow, he, look, he even died. He also even died. That's not cool, man. All right, let's. Let's take that one down. I don't care. I'm still winning this. All right, all fuck this, we're doing it. Fuck you and your all ends, buddy. This is where it ends. This is where it fucking ends. Are you fucking serious? 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 Fuck this. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Fuck this. That is the dumbest thing I've experienced. Like, this guy has run so hot. I did win a bunch of pots against him. I just kind of owned him heads up once I realized how he's playing. And then Kings against Aces heads up against this type of player? Jesus. I mean, like, I kind of have to call Queen Nine because he's just like, doesn't know what to do and just plays too many hands. Jesus, all right, I'm just gonna, wow, okay. I mean, there's a mountain to climb now, but like, we got runnered for the win, and then we like got shoved on like 20 times or something stupid. <sighs> like, what? <laughs> what just happened? Uh, I'm, I'm having a drink because that was so ridiculous, it deserves a drink. Like, I, that was insane, insane, like, All right, he's gonna go all in because what? Like I don't, I don't understand this guy. <laughs> what a weird fucking match. Oh, uh, like I just find it funny. Like you saw my reaction, I just laughed because I'm like, yeah, of course this happens. I I celebrate too early, get runnered after flopping that ace, and then like in a spot where I'm so confident I'm winning, put the mask on just to see aces, aces. Yeah, well, I'm not folding, buddy. I'm like, that's a insane way to run in a heads up. To run actually kings into ace. I mean, I'm destined to lose this. I'm actually just destined to like, you saw how ridiculous this heads up was. That was, okay, let's calculate how much I just lost. Because literally, sorry, not lost. That was like straight up a robbery, highway theft. So the guy gets 12k bounty. That was a 12k heads up. I just, someone just went into my bank account with a rooster mask and the bank didn't check their ID and they're like, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know it's you, Mr. Beryuzi. How much you want? 12,000k cash? Yeah, here we go, here we go. Oh, what, what's that? You don't even speak English? Oh yeah, it's uh, we know it's you, it's okay. You have the rooster mask, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> what the hell just happened? <laughs> Insane. It's actually insane. <laughs> um, I mean, it's still a great stream. This is the second time I get second in this tournament in like a month. It's a bit frustrating. It's it, 
I had such a big lead and I just like dominated the hands up. It's okay, like I have to look at it, it's like I did everything right and clearly just ran super poor and move on, you know? There's gonna be other tournaments, tomorrow is a big session, I'm playing the Venom, whatever. You gotta, you gotta look at it that way. As long as I didn't do any big mistakes. I don't think I played a single hand poorly heads up. I really like how I played heads up. And some of you that were watching like two, three months ago, you know that I, my heads up game was really poor in the past. Um, I worked a lot on it for like a week and I feel a lot more comfortable now. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna raid someone now. Cheers, thanks for joining on the stream. I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the Venom in a big high stakes session. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I still have a great time, you know, Still a couple of good scores today. And yeah, wish you all the best. See you tomorrow.